Welcome to the five bedroom home or renting in Osaka, Japan. Come inside. This home is located in the Nishinari Ward. It may not be the fanciest part of town, but it's peaceful here and we feel safe. Conveniently, there are two train stations nearby, Kishino Sato and Tengo Chaya, and it's only two stops to Namba, where all the action is. There are also multiple playgrounds in our neighborhood where our kids like to play. Downstairs is two bedrooms plus a bathroom. The kids room, or really just our coat room, down this hallway is the first half bathroom. It has a toilet with an attached sink. This is the washroom that has a sink, the washing machine, and also the shower and bathtub are in here. I'm gonna start this washer real quick. Turn it on and push go. On this other half is the shower bath. There are a lot of buttons on here, but I just use the auto bath or change the temperature here. This downstairs bedroom is one of the coldest in the house. George was using it as his office for a while until it got just too cold. The only thing this house is missing is a yard. There's a window here, but there's no view because the next house is right behind the window. Let's go upstairs. Right at the top of the narrow stairway is a bathroom, well, a toilet room. Now this is the main portion of the second floor. Ohio, this is the room. Ohio, this is the Hey, Zodi. We have our blankies here, our pillow set up, and Futons. There is a very delicate design on the floor called tatami. The futons can be folded and stored in the closet. This is a gorgeous tatami room with beautiful details. Right next to it is the living room, dining room, and the kitchen with refrigerator, gas stove. There is a tiny little oven, although we didn't quite figure out how to work that. A nice big sink, and you can set the water temperature for the sink or even start it for the bathtub downstairs. If I wanted to start the bath downstairs, I could just push this. And now the tub is filling downstairs. But I don't actually want to take a bath right now. Dining area and then we have our little living room here. We've enjoyed watching various Japanese shows on the TV. And there's an upstairs as well. Three floors in all. With two more bedrooms plus a kid's playroom. This room I use for drying laundry. There's also a lanai for drying and the closet for hanging all of our clothes. One more bedroom down here at the other end. This one we didn't even use much at all. Our family really didn't need five bedrooms. We're good with just one or two. There are some more futons in here as well. So this place could sleep a ton of people. And last but not least, the kids' favorite is the playroom. They were super excited when we got here to see that there's a play area with toys. One of the drawbacks is that these narrow, steep stairs are not ideal for our young kids. Thanks for joining us. Our family is slow traveling long term. So please subscribe for tips on traveling with kids or maybe moving abroad.